Hi guys, welcome to this week's video. As you can tell, I've got a giant bag of fabric. Fabric? Why did I say it like that? I have a giant bag of fabric. And obviously from the title of this video, you know that I'm making the Anastasia Once Upon a December dress. This dress is pretty special, I would say to me, because it's literally probably one of the first dresses that kind of went viral on the internet that I made. It skyrocketed my Instagram account and now this is my job. So I decided we should redo it because that was like one of the earlier things I made that dress and I think it deserves something a little better now. So we're gonna get started. All of this fabric is from Zaloof Fabrics. I hope I'm saying that right. They offered to send me a gift card in exchange for using their fabric and just giving them a shout out. So that's where this is from. It's really nice quality stuff and it was really affordable too. All of this fabric was $100 in total. That's all I spent. And and I'm excited to work with it for the first time. So I'm gonna start with the skirts. I have three different types of fabrics. So it's gonna be a three layered skirt. And I think I got enough for each one to be a whole circle. So I'll show that to you. And I have the first layer laid out. Now don't worry, I know this is very lemon yellow, but it's going to be covered by muted things. So it's like this crepe. Got five yards of this and I'm going to cut out the fabric. These next two layers, I don't know which is gonna be the middle and which is going to be the top. I have this, I think it was called mirror organza. How many yards of this? I have six yards of this gold mirror organza. No, color yellow glass mirror organza. It's really beautiful shine. And then I have this. I have no idea what, I think this is some sort of chiffon. Where's the tag? They put little tags on the ends to say what it is. I got six yards of this and it is their cationic chiffon. I hope I'm saying that right. Is that right? Cat Cationic. Anyway, in the color banana, and I got six yards of this. All layered together, it I'm assuming is going to give a really nice, beautiful effect. I did finish the skirt a few days ago, and I'm not too sure how much I'm liking it right now. I was having this big debate, which layer I should do, if I should do this layer on top or this chiffon layer. So I took it to the masses on TikTok and everybody was saying to do this shiny layer. My issue with it is that I feel it looks a little cheap. This chiffon layer under here, it looks a lot more expensive, but it doesn't have the same glow that this one does. And in the movie, the dress is like glowing in the scene. It does make sense to have this on top. I just do think that looks more expensive, but it's too late now. It's all sewn into the same waistband. Sometimes I make each skirt separate, but all three layers of this are sewn. All together, I have this lemon yellow and then the chiffon and then the organza. And I put them on this dress form to let them sit. They're really long right now and then quite short. So I needed to hem them once it stretches out. But I'm working on the bodice right now. And I am so glad I actually made a pattern that might work for this. When I made this dress a couple years ago, this um, Island Princess Barbie Rosella dress, I made this pattern. And I think it's the perfect pattern to use if I get rid of these sleeves and then add the Anastasia sleeves and then maybe square out the back of it. I tried it on and it fits fantastically and I found the pattern that I made for it. Since I made this, I know that it's gonna fit. So I believe I'm just going to cut them out with this and hopefully I can get maybe most of the bodice done today. I still don't have any fabric for the sleeves so I need to find fabric. Might go to the store maybe tomorrow but I just wanna get the main bodice dress thing made today. <laughs> I am basting together because each thing is three layers. So I'm basting each one together. I have two more. I'm working on this one. No, I just finished this one. I have one more to do. I'm thinking that I'll probably just use duck canvas for the base of this. It'll be nice and strong. It's coming together really well though. And I have the most beautiful view. Let me show you. Like the sky is really dark and ugly, but the park is so pretty. And I just love looking out at the snow. I'm in a pretty good mood today. It started off as a rough day. Nothing was going my way this morning, but I got through it. And now I'm having a good time making this. And I haven't really enjoyed sewing in a long time. I've just kind of been in like a weird, I don't know, a weird state where I haven't really been enjoying it. But I'm really excited about this dress and it's kind of gotten me excited to work again, which makes me happy. So I'm gonna keep plugging away. Mm -hmm. This is 
is what we are with. I'm gonna be honest that it is so hard to do square necklines. They always come out looking funky. So we're gonna, hopefully, hopefully this works. I do need to go iron down the seams on this side, but like you can see, I sewed these two things together and clipped the edges and then we'll flip it right side out, but I need to iron first. I'm on day two of making the bodice. I wanna finish it today minus the sleeves. because I don't have fabric for the sleeves yet. And so this is where we're at. There's no boning in here. I really wanted these sleeves to be thicker, but I accidentally made them too thin, but there's nothing I can do about it now because I'm not gonna redo everything. There's no boning in this yet. I need to put that in. First, I'm gonna top stitch the end. A lot of people don't like top stitching. They think it looks messy, but I think it makes it look better. So I'm gonna top stitch it and then cut the boning out. Uh, I need to finish the edge. I need to sew this in. There's a lot to do, but it should only take a few hours and then we can go, what the frick? Anyway, that's the update. <laughs> because I just finished the bodice. There it is. Well, it's almost finished. I need to figure out what I want to do about finishing that up and I need to do the sleeves. I need to pick my sister up early because she had finals today and they're done at 12.20. I'm gonna make her come with me and Joanne's because I don't like shopping alone and I know she won't be pleased, but she's gonna come with me anyway. I need to go get some fabric for these sleeves. I'm thinking probably just organza if I'm lucky enough that it's in stock, never is. I did bind the edge with just some bias tape gold. It looks pretty good. It's not like perfect, but I'm gonna start working on the belt. I have like an hour till I need to pick her up because I'm too far getting ready this morning. <laughs> How are you today, Hubert? You're handsome boy. I'm really pumped about the fabric for this belt. It's like the first time I did it, but updated. I have this blue scuba type of material. Let me find the tag on this. It should say what it is. Blue Angel. It's just like a knit. It really is pretty thick, like scuba. And then obviously I had to spice it up with some lace. This stuff is beautiful. It's the Mercy, Mercy, Mercy Embroidery Mesh. So it's gonna be overlaid like so. This is so pretty. I'm not sure exactly how thick to make this, so I kind of guessed. Um, I can make it thinner if I need. But I know that the first time I made this, I made the, the thing a little too thin in my opinion. This might be too thin. And I'm a little worried with the stretch of it because I don't want it to be overly stretchy. I might make it just an inch or so smaller than my waist. I'm trying to turn it right side out right now. <laughs> Give me a sec. Hey girl. I got me a burrito. What? You're smushing your burrito. You got me a burrito? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Because I have bad news. We're going to Joanne's. <laughs> you literally made my heart start pounding. Thanks. <laughs> I got so scared. <laughs> I had to wake up so early today to take my dad to his a surgery. I just finally got in here. It's like 10 a.m. I've been up since 5.45ish. Ignore my gum. <laughs> but I feel like this video is so disjointed. I'm very sorry about that. I just always forget to film when I'm in the groove. So I accidentally may have done the sleeves without filming, but I can tell you what I did. I did go and get this organza from Joann's. I just got like three quarters of a yard. And the Anastasia sleeve is just a trapezoid. I don't even like measure it. I just, just kind of guess. And it's sewn into the armholes. It's very simple. Like anybody could make this sleeve because it's literally just straight lines. There's no curve at all to it. So now I'm working on this belt, which I also accidentally did. And it looks a little thick, but it's because when it gets pulled around my waist, it kind of tightens up a little, if you know what I mean. I feel like I really need to get an actual filming camera for YouTube. I had one originally, but it didn't have like the, any sort of microphone. So the audio on it is trash. And I'd rather just have 
a camera that does everything that have to figure out microphone stuff. It was like a vlog. I don't know. Anyway, filming on my phone is annoying, but we moved. So this is how it's looking. I hate, when I left last night, when I left this in here, I was hating it. Coming in this morning, it's kind of fine. I kind of am starting to like it. I need to finish the belt and I need to do the bow. And obviously then I need to hem everything and just do finishing touches. So I made it like an inch or two smaller than my waist. It's gonna be like that. See how like it's thinner when it goes around my waist like that. And then I was working on the bow part. Where is it? So for the bow, and I've yet to cut out the lace yet. Oh my gosh, this room is like a bomb of explosion of mess. This is really heavy and floppy fabric. So I interfaced it. It's like not the strongest interfacing. Actually, it's not strong at all, but it's fine. I'm hoping when it gets sewn together, it'll be a little stiffer. So I have this rectangle that's or square kind of. I really just guessed it and I'm gonna Fold it in half once I have the lace. Be like that, just sew around the edges, and then cinch in the middle, and you'll have a bow. And then obviously the bow tails. I have a rant really quick while I turn this inside out. And don't take this the wrong way, but I just posted the bodice part of the videos that I make on Instagram for, on Instagram and TikTok, I posted me making the bodice for the reel on TikTok. And at the end of that video, I gave a sneak peek of this belt. And I think this fabric is stunning. I chose it because I love it and I love the color and it's what I'm going to do. I didn't think that it would cause discourse, but a lot of people don't like this color, this fabric. I'm getting all these comments telling me to change it and it's not good and like they want it to be perfect. And I just have to say this, sometimes I will post like, oh, give me opinions, what should I do? If I don't ask for an opinion, I just really don't want your opinion. Like I make videos because I like sharing what my ideas are and I like sharing with everyone what I'm doing, but I'm not sharing because I want you to tell me that you hate it, you know? Like you can think that, but you just don't need to comment it because I'm not gonna change my opinion. I think this is beautiful and it's exactly what I wanted and I think it's gonna be stunning. So I don't know. I'm just telling people like, oh no, I'm using it. But I didn't think that people wouldn't like this. I actually thought people would thought it, think it was beautiful. So I am using it, but just putting it out there that nobody wants unsolicited opinions, especially if they're rude. <laughs> like I don't post videos to get rude comments, just putting it out there. But anyway, this is the, the bow. I don't know if I'm gonna do this side on the outside or that one, both are kind of, I think I will do this one and then have it bunched up like this. I wish it wasn't so floppy, but at this point I don't care, whatever. Uh, I need to sew this opening closed and then make other stuff. How am I meant to work when I have an angel in my presence? How am I meant to work when I have an angel? When I have an angel. Thank you. 